Welcome back. Okay, ladies and gents, before I start this particular topic, if you look at the corner over there, there is a red subscribe button. Don't forget to tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'll be looking at 9.2 differentiating exponentials and logarithms. 9.2 represents chapter 9, section 2 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 2 textbook. Suppose in the exam you are given y equal e to the power f of x. Then dy of dx, ladies and gents, is given by the following f dash of x e to the power f of x. Let's have a look at the next one. You've got y equal ln of f of x. Then dy of dx is given by the following f dash of x over f of x. How about this one over here? y equal a to the power f of x, okay? a is a constant such that a is greater than 0. In this particular case, dy over dx is given by the following. f dash of x, a to the power f of x, ln a. Okay, ladies and gents, I've got six equations up on the board, and for each of these equations, I want to find dy over dx. Question number one, I've got y equal e to the power x squared. My x squared is the f of x. dy over dx is equal to, I differentiate x squared and I get 2x, e to the power x squared. Next one, y equal e to the power 2 sine 5x plus 3 cos 4x. Now, the 2 sine 5x plus 3 cos 4x is my f of x. dy over dx is equal to, I differentiate 2 sine 5x plus 3 cos 4x, and if I do this, I obtain 10 cos 5x minus 12 sine 4x, e to the power 2 sine 5x plus 3 cos 4x. Question number 3, I've got y equal ln of x, the x is my f of x, dy over dx is equal to f dash of x over f of x, so if I differentiate x, I get 1 over x. Question number 4, y is equal ln of x cubed plus x squared plus sine x plus 1 inside the bracket. Now, this over here is my f of x. dy over dx is equal to, I differentiate my f of x. And if I do that, I obtain 3x squared plus 2x plus cos x. And remember, guys, if you differentiate a constant, it is just 0, okay? All over my function f of x, which is x cubed plus x squared plus sine x plus 1. Right, question number 5, I've got y equal 2 to the power x. Right, my x is the f of x. dy over dx is equal to, I take x and I differentiate it, I get 1. Okay, so 1 times 2 to the power x, ln 2. So that is just 2 to the power x, ln 2. Question 6. Y is equal to a third inside the bracket to the power x squared minus 1. Now, the x squared minus 1 is my f of x. dy over dx is equal to... I take my f of x, which is x squared minus 1, and I differentiate that. And if I do this, I obtain... 2x, okay, differentiating minus 1 is just 0. So 2x multiplied by a third inside the bracket to the power x squared minus 1 ln of a third. Okay, so that there is my dy over dx. Here is an exam question. f of x is equal e to the power 2x minus ln x squared plus 4 where x is greater than 0. Part a, find f dash of x. So f dash of x is equal to, right, I'm going to differentiate the first term which is e to the power 2x. The power is 2x, if I differentiate that I get 2, okay, so I've got 2 e to the power 2x minus, okay, the next term is ln x squared. I need to differentiate x squared and if I do this I obtain 2x over x squared itself. Now if I differentiate a constant, in this case 4, I just get 0. The next step is to simplify my f dash of x. So, if I simplify, I obtain f dash of x is equal to e to the power 2x minus 2 over x. Moving on to the next part of the question. 
The curve with the equation y equal f of x has a gradient of 2 at the point p. The x coordinate of p is a. Part b shows that a in bracket e to the power 2a minus 1 is equal to 1. First of all, ladies and gents, the gradient is represented by dy over dx. So if the gradient is equal to 2 at the point p, and we know that the x coordinate of p is a, we can write down dy over dx, which is the gradient, at the point p with x coordinate equal to a is equal to 2. Okay? Now, y is equal to f of x, and we know what f of x is. It is e to the power 2x minus ln x squared in brackets plus 4. So, dy over dx is just f dash of x. And we've calculated f dash of x in part a. It was 2e to the power 2x minus 2 over x. So, f dash of x represents dy over dx. What we need to do is replace the x's in dy over dx with a. So if I do this, I obtain the following result. 2e to the power 2a minus 2 over a, okay, so that is my dy over dx at x equal a, is equal to 2. Okay, ladies and gents, now what I need to do is use algebra on this particular equation in order to end up with this equation. My first step is to multiply the whole equation by a, and if I do this, I obtain the following result. 2a e to the power 2a minus 2 is equal to 2a. The next step is to divide the whole equation by 2. So the first term will become a e to the power 2a. Second term will be minus 1 equal to 2a divided by 2 is just a. Now, what I can do next is take this a to the left hand side and the minus 1 to the right hand side, okay? So if I do that, I obtain a e to the power 2a minus a is equal to 1. Now, I can actually factorise because I have a common factor between these two terms. And the common factor, ladies and gents, is just a. So I can take out a in bracket e to the power 2a minus 1 is equal to 1. And that there is the result that we needed. So the question ends there. Here is another exam question. The point P lies on the curve with the equation y equal 2 in brackets 3 to the power 4x. The x coordinate of P is 1. Find the equation of the normal to the curve at the point P in the form y equal ax plus b. First of all, we know that the normal passes through the point P and the x coordinate of P is 1. What we need to do now is work out the corresponding y coordinate, okay? So we take x equal 1 and we put it into the y equation to generate the corresponding y coordinate. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 in brackets, 3 to the power 4 times 1, which is 162. So the point P is just 1 and 162. What we need to do now is find the gradient of the normal to the curve at the point P. First, we need to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point P. So to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point P, what we need to do is differentiate our y. So if I differentiate the y, I get dy over dx is equal to 2 multiplied by the differential of 4x, which is 4, multiplied by... 3 to the power 4x, ln 3, okay? I can actually simplify this dy over dx, and if I do that, I obtain 8 in brackets, 3 to the power 4x, ln 3. Now, to find the gradient of the tangent at the point P on the curve, what we need to do is find dy over dx at x equal 1, okay? If I do this, I obtain 648 ln 3. All I've done is replace the x with 1. So 8 in bracket, 3 to the power of 4 times 1. If I multiply those two, I get 648. Then I've got the ln 3. Now, the gradient of the normal is just going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So m is equal to minus 1 all over 648 ln 3. So I've got the point P that the normal passes through, okay, and the point P is over here. I can label it x1, 
y1. Okay, and I've got the gradient of the normal at the point P on the curve. What I now need to do is substitute my x1, y1 and my m into y minus y1 equal m x minus x1. So after substituting my x1, y1 and my m into y minus y1 equal m in bracket x minus x1, I end up with this equation which is of the form y equal ax plus b. So I've got y equal to minus 1 over 648 ln3 x plus 1 over 648 ln3 plus 162.